What is up you guys? In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to build a $100,000 per year woodworking business the easy way. Let's dive in. All right, well, welcome back to the podcast. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. So excited that you're here. And in today's video, I wanna talk about how to build a six-figure woodworking business the easy way. This will be a kind of a fun video. I'm gonna just give you four examples from a math standpoint of how to reach $100,000 in your woodworking business this year. So this is just math. These are just hypothetical scenarios. This is not including profit. This is just top line revenue, gross income of $100,000, okay? So the easiest way is to land one job for $100,000. Okay, now a lot of you are like, how in the world would I ever sell anything for $100,000? Well, you can't do this if you don't have a great brand and a great reputation. Okay, so you've got to build a brand, got to build a reputation. But there are jobs that people are out there landing for $100,000. You could build all of the office furniture and all of the cabinetry in a new office building that's going in. You could build all of the tables at multiple restaurant locations. You could do all of the cabinetry, all of the tables, all of the doors, everything inside of a multi-million dollar home. You can absolutely land these jobs if you find the right connections, right relationships. So just a reminder with this one is that relationships are super critical. You can do all the right things, say all the right things, but sometimes just knowing the right person will open a door for you that not anything else will. Relationships is gonna be super, super important, okay? But that's the easiest way as far as straightforward. Okay, land one job, it's $100,000, you go do the job, you get paid 100 grand, okay? Second easiest way is to land two $50,000 jobs. So you would have six months a piece to do each job. They would be $50,000. This is pretty feasible for like cabinet builds inside of new really nice homes. Like if you're doing full kitchens with islands, all the cabinetry, all the finished work, some of these can be 30, 40, $50,000 depending on the size of the home, right? Now your average cabinet job is gonna be 10 to $20,000. But inside of a big luxurious home, like especially with like walk-in closets that have cabinetry in all the closets, cabinetry in the kitchens and then outside or whatever that might be, it's pretty easy to land these $50,000 jobs. It can be, again, this is gonna happen through relationships. This is not gonna happen through just paid marketing. A lot of times this is gonna come from one-on-one -on -one conversations and relationships. So that's the second easiest way to build a $100,000 woodworking business, okay? So the next easiest way, I'm just helping you think through some math here, is to land 10 $10,000 jobs. What's a really easy way to land a $10,000 job? What I've seen in my industry with tables is doing like river and epoxy tables with chairs, okay? So let's say a river or epoxy table is a $6,000 table and then you've got 10 or 12 chairs around it. That might be an additional two to three, four thousand dollars $4,000, okay? Or you could have a really long epoxy live edge table that is a 10, 12, $15,000 table and you land one of these every five weeks. So 10 $10,000 jobs will get you to $100,000 a year. The next easiest one, this one was most feasible for me, and that is to land $25,000 jobs. Last year at 2023, our average order value, every time that we wrote an order, it was for about this much, was around 4,500 bucks. So we were doing about 15 of these a month. So we'd land about 15 new clients a month at around $4,500, and that was landing us around $70,000 per month. We were somewhere around $70,000 a month. We did $900,000 in top line revenue last year. And so this is very simple. These are dining table sets. So table, bench, chairs, these are pretty easy to land. But you just gotta land 20 of these all year long. So that breaks down to just under two a month. Okay, so just under two of these a month, these are $5,000 jobs, and this is to hit a six-figure a year business, okay? If you're trying to hit a million-dollar a year business, you just add a zero to each of these things, okay? So you'd add a zero either to the quantity or the dollar amount. So if you wanted to do $100,000 jobs, you would either do one million-dollar job or you'd do 10 $100,000 jobs. If you wanted to you know, go from doing two $50,000 jobs at $100,000 and you were like, I wanna, I wanna build this to a million-dollar business, well, you land two $500,000 jobs or you land land 20 $50,000 jobs. So you add a zero wherever you wanna go in order to take this from 100,000 to a million. Now, this is the important part. Zach, how do you do this? When we get down into the weeds and we want to actually start making headway to make this a reality, what do I need to do? So I'm gonna give you just four things that are gonna help you get where you're trying to go to build a six-figure woodworking business, okay? So the number one way that you can do this landing like these big jobs is gonna be through cold outreach. It's gonna be through shaking hands, it's gonna be through introductions, it's gonna be through walking into home builders, handing them information about your business and letting them know what you do, how you do it, and that you would love the opportunity to bid a job or show them some of your work. 
hey, there's a cabinet company that I know here locally in Longview, Texas. They've gotten connected to one of the largest home builders in the city simply through this strategy. They walked in, they shook hands, they looked them in the face, they laid out what, what, what they did and how they did it. And now every single home that this home builder builds goes to this cabinet company for the cabinets. They took their business from like a $300,000 business to like a $1.3 million business simply through leveraging this relationship, okay? So do not downplay this. Now, are you gonna be nervous? Are you gonna be scared doing this? 100% you're going to be, but it's worth it because you never know what you're gonna land, okay? That's number one, cold outreach, talking to people, connecting with other business owners. Okay, number two, and this is super important, is that you gotta have high ticket stuff. Like guys, if you're doing little trinkets that are 10, 15, 20 dollars, there's no way you're gonna hit these numbers reasonably without huge economies of scale, okay? So selling expensive things is gonna be super important. If you're not selling expensive things, it's gonna be very difficult for you to hit these type of revenue numbers, okay? So just understand, you have to transition into some type of high ticket item or figure out a way to take what you're already doing if it's a low ticket item and make it a high ticket item, whether that's attaching other things to the service, the product or service, whether that is using higher quality woods or marketing it differently to a different demographic of people, whatever that might be, figuring out how to charge more money for what you do. Okay, so that's number two. Number three is paid advertising. This is really how I scaled my business. This is how we're scaling. I think we've got like 39 clients now in the Woodworking Business Accelerator program. This is how we're scaling their businesses and that's through paid ads. Okay, paid ads has been predictable for me. It's been consistent for me and it can be consistent for you too. What we generally do with this is for every dollar that we spend in advertising, we generate $10 in revenue. And so that happened for me in Iron by Iron Woodworks and we're doing that for our clients all across North America as well. So if you knew that every time you put a dollar into a magical slot machine, it was gonna spit out a $10 bill, how many more dollars would you put in that slot machine, right? Same kind of concept. And that this is what allowed us to scale because we just continue to spend more money on ads. We continue to refine our brand, refine our product, photography, videography, optimize our pages, optimize our websites. By doing these things, it really allowed us to scale, okay? And then the last one, this is kind of a baseline thing that's so important no matter what strategy you take, and that is really gonna be focusing on great branding and product photography and videography. I mentioned this earlier, but like if you're doing all this cold outreach and you're running all these paid ads, but your product photos are trash, just don't look good, aren't in a great setting. Guys, I don't care how much money you spend on ads. I don't care how many hands you shake. You need to look professional. You need to look good. And there's a very clear difference between a brand that looks really good and those that don't. Brands that look really good are like the Lumber to Loves, CarpenterJames.com, James and James Furniture. Looking at those that have gone before you that are running multi-million dollar a year businesses in our industry, in our niche that have great branding is gonna be critical to help you get where you're trying to go. Because if you don't have any concept of like what great branding is or what great photography is or videography, you're not gonna have a benchmark to go off of to make sure that what you're doing is adequate, is good too. So hopefully this video was helpful to you, kind of strategizing and thinking through how to get to six figures inside of your woodworking business. And so you can sell just a couple things that are super, super expensive. Start working down that chain to where you're ultimately selling, you know, 20 things that are $5,000. That's pretty feasible, pretty manageable. And again, this is just top line revenue. We're not talking about take home pay. We could get into that later. You really need to be doing like three or $400,000 a year to bring home a hundred thousand. But if you can implement these strategies, cold outreach, paid ads, and you really focus on selling high ticket products and you focus on great branding, great photography, great videography, you can get there in a scalable and sustainable way. Now, if you're trying to do this and you're not sure exactly what to do, you're not sure exactly what steps to take, you're not sure exactly what your bottlenecks are, join the Woodworking Business Accelerator program because we're working with, like I said, almost 40 clients right now all across North America, helping them scale their woodworking business and you could be the next one. Don't go it alone. Don't do this by yourself. You know, for a pretty low cost, you can get in and you can start working with somebody that has actually done what you're trying to do. You know, I have started, scaled, and sold my own woodworking business. It was doing $900,000 a year. I profited multiple six figures on the sale of that business. I can help you do the same exact thing, okay? So I'm not some fake guru online that has not done what I'm teaching. I'm teaching what I've actually done, what I've actually experienced, what I've actually lived, so that you don't have to make all the same mistakes that I made. Guys, I made all the mistakes you could make in the world because I didn't have a coach. I didn't have somebody that had gone before me to help me. I had to figure it out on my own, and I'm trying to prevent you from having to do all those same things. So for a pretty low cost, option, you can get access to me and a coach and everyone else inside of the community and all of our systems that we ran our business off of. We can teach you how to run your own ads or we can run your ads for you, whichever one you prefer, and we can help you ultimately start scaling your woodworking business. So with that being said, guys, I love you all. I appreciate you. If there's anything that you need, let me know in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you doing with your life? Make sure that you subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.